Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, September 28th. Oh, and I'm tired. Okay, so I uh, figured we'd try something new and I'd do the makeup thing, kind of. It's it's not like a lot of makeup. I did my eyes and if I had a better quality webcam, you could see all my glittery eyeliner. Um, but I figured, you know, you have to look at my face instead of a little thing of my face and the uh, movie. So, nicer face. I hope you appreciate it because this took me all of five minutes, maybe ten. Alright, so the theme this week for Project Chronicle, or for the past week, how we do it, is, uh, or was, uh, no it still is, because today's Sunday, uh, books. So the last time I did books, I, uh, was challenged by a friend of mine to talk about my top ten favorite books that are not Harry Potter related. So this week I'm going to tell you, uh, today I'm going to tell you what books I am reading right now. So I will start with the one that I've been on the longest, because I'm finding it hard to get through, uh, which is... I actually do need to pull this up. I need to make sure you can see it. Okay, you can. Jane Austen's Emma. No, no, first day, but I got my mom caught it for me. I had a used bookstore. So, um, I am obsessed with Pride and Prejudice. It's probably one of my favorite books. And I loved Lizzie Bennet Diaries. It was, uh, for those of you who don't know what Lizzie Bennet Diaries is, it is a web series and it is a modern telling of Pride and Prejudice. And it was, most of you, I'm guessing, have know what it is if you're a, a Vlogbrothers fan. And it was amazing and fantastic and I oh I watched every episode multiple times I watched all the little behind the scenes stuff and the extra stuff they did videos for Lydia they did videos uh from Maria Lou which is Charlotte's sister it was really funny um anyway so the uh <clears throat> Pemberley Digital world um which is where Darcy works in the modern telling I just stopped looking at myself I kind of need this here though I need, um, Darcy works for a digital company, a digital media company called Pemberley Digital, which is how they tied into the Pemberley estate from the book. And he and his sister run that. And so Pemberley Digital did a modern telling of Welcome to of, uh, Sanditon, 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 something like that. And it was a uncompleted, inc incomplete, uncompleted, non-finished, unfinished, unfinished. There we go. I will braid eventually. I haven't... I've barely touched my tea, so um, you can still see the top of it from there, so I, I'm not anywhere near awake yet. Also, Slytherin, because my mom's a Slytherin, so I am half Slytherin, which if I do anything devious is what I blame it on. Anyway, um, they did the unfinished novel that Jane Austen wrote called Sanditon, Welcome to Sanditon, something like that. Anyway, um, and then, I'm sorry, I keep playing with my hair, I'm not used to having it in my face. <laughs> um, and so they did that, and then they did uh, Emma Approved, which was based on Emma, and I'd never read Emma. So I am about, let's say, a third, oh, there's the top, I'm about a third of the way through, I would say, maybe a quarter, no, close to a third. Um, and it's really good, it's just, Pride and Prejudice, I loved so much that I... I'd read it so many times and I'd seen movies and so I, I knew the story and so I found it easier to get through but I told myself no I want to be a person that reads the book first it's important to me because I'm such an avid reader so I'm working on reading this so um yeah I'm like I said I'm about a quarter of the way through or a third of the way through but I've been trying to read it for months um what I, what I did a few times is I sat out on my uh in-laws back deck when it was really warm and I just it was windy but it, the sun was on me and I just wrapped myself up in an afghan and read for a couple hours and it was glorious but it's getting too cold to do that now and there isn't really a comfy place to read down here yet because the fireplace isn't fixed downstairs yet i know first world problems but that basement is so cold like i can i'll be in a hoodie and sweatpants and <clears throat> slipper socks and slippers and like three blankets big hot mug of tea and i'm still freezing so i'm waiting for the fireplace to get fixed and then i will be powering through a lot of books anyway so this is the first one that i am on um the next one that I um, am reading, speaking of Pride and Prejudice, is I got this at the comic book store last Friday. I went and bought a whole bunch of manga with my husband. This is a Pride and Prejudice manga, which I had no idea was a thing, and it made me super excited. So I haven't started this yet. I told myself, you get to you get to read this once you finish, at once you finish Emma. Um, but just to show you, so this is the art style. And it's all very, very nice and pretty. I, I I got it A because I love Pride and Prejudice, but B 
I love manga. I didn't. The first manga and the only manga I've read so far uh, is Chobets, and I just devoured it in like three days, and it was so amazing and so good. And oh my gosh, it made me cry, and it made me laugh, and it was just fantastic. And I was excited, so I asked the lady at the store what she could recommend at the our the where we go for our comic books which is called happy harbor we got our uh where we got some of our wedding pictures done and i said what can you recommend by clamp because there was one that i wanted but it's out of print so i have to kind of go on amazon to get it because they can't order it for me anymore um and she uh just kind of recommended a few and so i ended up getting a couple recommendations and one that i really wanted to get but they were out of stock so i'm gonna have to go back and get that one but anyway so i got pride and prejudice manga manga classics which is really exciting so if assuming this is really assuming this is good, which I'm positive it will be, I am going to read. Um, I'm gonna get other ones and then read the originals and then read these because this is just oh, it's beautiful and it's hardcover and it's so pretty and I love it. All right, the next book that I um, am planning on reading is Sword Art Online. Sorry, Sword Art Online, and then this is this sub one is called Fairy Dance because it is the first one. There's one there. Um, so this was a anime that I saw on Netflix and I was really excited about it because I was like, oh, it's like an MMO and they call it a VR MMORPG, which I'm assuming is a virtual reality, multi, massively, massive multi massively multiplayer online role playing game. Well, I play MMOs. I play World of Warcraft. I've played Guild Wars. I've played Lord of the Rings online. Um, I tried Wildstar. I tried, I didn't, well, Destiny's not. Oh, it's, it's uh, Destiny's an MMO, it's not really, an, I don't want to call it an RPG personally, but anyway, so I was really excited to watch the show, but I was like, oh, but it's probably based on a manga, and so I looked it up and it was, and I was like, well, I, I, I like I said, I, I like to read the books first, that's kind of my thing, so I only, the only, the only thing I didn't do that with was Lord of the Rings, and now I can't go back and read it, it's so hard, I love, I'm like, I got Tom Bomb and I was like, oh! This is really cool. I wish they put that in, but I kind of understand why they didn't. And then I got to Council of Elrond, and after 12 pages of Tolkien telling me how pretty the trees and the leaves were in Rivendell, I went, no, sorry, I'm out. Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm planning on reading this and then getting the next one. And then the, then basically my, the whole reason I went there was to get Clover by Clamp, but they were out of, it's out of print. The big, uh, the big one is. So I said, well, what can you recommend to me by Clamp? And for those of you who don't know, Clamp is a collection of female uh, manga writers, I guess. I don't know the manga authors, I suppose is the right word. Um, female illustrators, female story writers, like all of them are female, which is really exciting to me because they tell beautiful stories. Like Chobits was amazing. And she recommended X. Um, there's like a sequel series called triple exaholic or exaholic or something like that um but i'm just starting with the original i don't know anything about it um other than there's a guy i think it's a guy yeah it's a guy and he's holding a world in his hand and he's surrounded by flowers and it looks kind of vampire-ish maybe a little bit but yeah i know nothing about it other than the girls all have amazing hair the font is really cool and there's some really neat color pictures in the middle, which is one thing I really like about the omnibuses. Omnibuy? Omnibuy, probably. Especially the clamp ones is like, at the end of so many chapters, there'll be like a collection of like five or ten, um, or sorry, I guess eight or ten, well, somewhere between six and ten, depending, I guess, um, uh, just beautiful art prints. And it's like, either scenes taken directly from the, from the manga, we'll say anime, taken directly from the manga, or they've just, the artists have just kind of gone off on their own and they're just beautiful and so I love that kind of stuff. I didn't actually check and see if Pride and Prejudice had any color pages. It doesn't look like there are but that is okay. I will love it nonetheless and uh yeah so that is what I'm reading right now. Um I also read a crazy amount of fan fiction. Um I read Glee fan fiction. I read Game of Thrones fan fiction mainly Daenerys and Drogo. Also some Tyrion and Sansa but only a little bit because that's still a little weird to me. Um and I read uh, Harry Potter fanfiction. A lot of Harry Potter fanfiction. Uh, especially uh, Draco Hermione fanfiction, because that to me is amazing. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's my video for today. I've been talking for, holy crap, I've been talking for nine minutes, nine and a half minutes already. That's pretty amazing. All right, so that is my video for today. So thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we'll be back to Diablo. And tomorrow I get to go grocery shopping to start up meal planning again, which I'm really excited about. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.